Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see how you can perform a URL campaign tracking parameters implementation in Revive thanks to uh, Matomo Analytics parameters. So the typical thing that we want to, to solve here is uh, when someone's going to click on one of your ads, such as the one that you can see here in, in Revive, and that this person is going to be redirected to your website, it's going to be uh, identified as the name of the website on which the ad was on. Okay, and um, it's not really interesting because in this specific situation, right, the one that you can see here, we don't know, um, let's say, the ad on which people clicked on, and we don't even know that it's an ad, so it's going to be kind of complicated. And in order to be able to measure within an analytics solution such as Matomo Analytics, you will need to open some uh, what's called campaign tracking parameters in order to know exactly which was the ad on which people clicked on and on which website they were on. So in order to uh, know those different parameters that you can use in order to communicate with Matomo Analytics, you will find them uh, over here in acquisition within campaign URL builder. And here you can, in fact, type whatever you want and here whatever you want. Okay, so it's you who decide. And at the end, you get, in fact, uh, your URL with the different uh, parameter that you can use in order to communicate with Matomo Analytics. So that's the first thing. You need first to fill in this form with the different data that you expect, and then you're going to modify those different parameters according to the different rules I'm going to show you. So that's the first part. The second part is that you need to know in Revive what are the different uh, variables that you can play with in order to send dynamically the data to uh, those different uh, parameters because uh, you, let's say, you want to send automatically the data. So I found on this page, which seems like it's listing all the different variables that you can use in a Revive, so click URL, timestamp, random, log URL, and so on and so forth, which are going to be useful in our case in order to identify from where uh, the people is coming from. So, uh, for example, here I don't have the page URL. Okay, so I'm going to take this one, page URL, as you can see over here. So I'm going to go back now on um, my Revive ad server, and as you can see at the level of your uh, banner that you would like to track, you have the possibility to insert here the URL destination. And here in my case, I get the banner ID, I get the um, page URL, I get the medium, I get the content as well. So here I tested for the page URL and for some reason it was not showing up. So I'm just going to take another one. So it was page URL, I'm going to take refer. Uh, so refer. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to change this one I'm going to put refer. So the different uh, bracket that you can see here are here in order to say, okay, I want to fill the value dynamically. And this one, for example, is hard coded by right? put CPC. Okay, so now when you save your different changes, you will see that when you over your mouse over here, um, Revive is automatically filling in, filling in on the uh, different value with um, the value that it can take. So here you can see within the URL at the bottom of my uh, screen that is uh, called PK campaign 25, which uh, represents in my case the banner ID because this is what I asked. So this is the typical banner ID. Uh, then I know the size of this given banner because here I insert within the content the width and the height. And so of course, it means that the game for you is really to identify what are all the different uh, variables that you can insert within the parameters in order to send data to uh, Matomo Analytics in my case. So now that I have actually made the different changes, what you need to do is uh, to go on the website, which is going to track your um, your uh, your ad. So here I'm over here. I'm just going to let's say, load it back in order for the cookie to be fully deleted. So localhost and then it's revive. Okay, so here I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my ad, but first I'm going to clean my cache in order to ensure that everything is going to go as expected. So here I'm getting, you see, my, oops, 
I'm getting my add, but I'm not getting the different parameter that I wanted. So that's why I want to refresh the page back. And uh, okay, then I got it. So you see now where I'm gonna click on this given URL, it's gonna send the uh, banner ad, which is 25. It's gonna send as well the medium CPC and the size of the banner ad. I have no idea why the source is not filled in. Maybe it's gonna be filled in once I click on it, but I'm not sure. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna change the user agent in order not in order to be identified differently by uh, Matomo Analytics. I'm gonna go in Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna click over here, and here, as you can see, it seems that the the source uh, has not been properly filled in. So I would need to correct that. But you see, 25 have been properly sent, CPC as well, and the size of the panel. So now, if I look within Matomo Analytics, I will see the different value which have been which have been pushed. Okay, so you see Microsoft Edge, and it sent the data, which is the name of the banner ad CPC 302. So all the magic is here to go within the documentation of Revive, selecting the different variable that you would like to insert within your URL when someone's gonna click on your ad, and then the data are sent to Matomo, which made after for you the analysis easier in order to identify which ad is converting the most. Uh, as an exercise, please try to insert those different dynamic parameters. It's not that easy the first time because as you saw within this video, I needed to clear my cache and then to refresh several times the pages, but uh, you're gonna make it. And um, as usual, yeah, do not hesitate to make your own video and try to share them on social networks. Thanks for watching.